investigating the Lower North Fork Fire Commission meeting for the last time tomorrow. And 7 News finding out it hasn't investigated the fire itself. Marshall Zellinger live at the Capitol tonight. Marshall, you discovered the commission members are not in agreement. Tonight, I spoke with one of those commission members, Representative Sherry Giroux. She's one of the lawmakers here at the Capitol who actually helped create the commission. And after asking questions about what the commission has actually investigated, I found that what it's going to reveal at its final meeting tomorrow is not what she set out to achieve. We do have a duty to determine you know exactly what happened and, and how it happened. That was Governor John Hickenlooper on May 3rd, announcing a Lower North Fork Fire Commission to investigate the causes of the fire and to make recommendations to prevent a similar tragedy. The main thing the commission was supposed to do was investigate the cause of the wildfire. Has it? Not in my mind, no, it hasn't. State Representative Sherry Giroux helped create the commission she sits on. It has met four times inside the Capitol and in Jefferson County, standing where the fire got out of control. Was this commission a waste of time, resources, and money? This commission was a frustration. It wasn't what I hoped it would be. This weekend, we found survivors of the fire clearing dead trees from their property. They want to know why the State Forest Service isn't cleaning up the mess it caused when a prescribed burn reignited and destroyed this land, nearly two dozen homes, and killed three. The state has adopted an attitude where it's okay if I burn down your house, it's okay if I, if I take your wife's life, it's okay if I take your grandparents' life, but I'm not going to take any responsibility. Should the final report from this commission state the Colorado State Forest Service is to blame for the Lower North Fork fire? Oh, I think it should. That's what the declaration of the bill says. Will it? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. If I have anything to do with it, it will. But I don't have a lot of hope. Tomorrow, we'll hear the final conclusions of the commission. One is a bill that would double the governmental immunity cap from $600,000 to $1.2 million. Another is a bill that will suggest that prescribed burns in Colorado start up again, but with precautionary measures. 7 News will be at that committee hearing tomorrow, asking the rest of the commission why it hasn't investigated the fire. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.